हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर कोमलेव नानी चाइल्ड डेंटल स्पेशलिस्ट एट कॉस्मोडेंट इंडिया टुडे आई एम नॉट ओनली गोइंग टू टॉक बट एक्चुअली डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू द मेरिकल डेंटल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर किड्स The treatment that I'm talking about is preventive fluoride gel application. And yes, I know a lot of parents are skeptical when it comes to use of fluoride in their kids. But let me clear all the myths. Use of preventive fluorides as a topical applicant in kids especially above the age of 6 plus is completely safe. In fact, application of fluoride gel is the best way to prevent dental caries in your little ones. especially in their growing ages APF fluoride gel treatment has three most effective benefits number 1 it prevents tooth demineralization number 2 it enhances remineralization of white lesions white lesions are those areas which are devoid of minerals number 3 it provides maximum prevention against dental cavities as it inhibits the bacterial activity So today we have this lovely little fellow visiting Cosmodent Clinic to protect his teeth against dental cavities. So let's meet him. So hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Dev. And how old are you, Dev? I'm 8 years old. Okay, so you're ready for your dental treatment? Yes. So let's get started. So we are ready to begin with the treatment. The child is wearing all the protective drapes and the protective gear with a head cap. I like to make sure that the suction is ready. Good to go. And I would always like to hand over a paper towel to the patient just in case the child needs it. Hold this. Yeah. Welcome. Okay. The third point to note is that we are supposed to take away the water glass because the child is not supposed to rinse during or after the procedure. So this is how my working tray looks like. This is the APF gel that we are going to use in the child. This says that it is acidulated phosphate fluoride and a total anti-cavity topical preventive treatment gel. So this is what we are going to apply to the child. These are my diagnostics. This is a cotton bud applicator and a tray. There are different types of tray. The one that I am using is a thermocol tray. and the size is just appropriate to the child's jaw and face so as we start the treatment we have to make sure that first our trays are ready with the gel shake the bottle well then we fill our tray We have to make sure that the amount of gel that we have placed should be approximately one third of the tray. Now, using a cotton bud applicator, we can evenly spread out the gel. Alternatively we can also try to tap the tray to make sure that gel is evenly spread in the tray. Before starting the procedure always instruct the patient to not swallow the extra gel. Dev you have to make sure that you don't swallow the extra gel. Okay? Open your mouth. Now using a three way syringe first dry all the teeth surfaces. Open your mouth. Palatally and lingually. Don't close. Now take the gel. Open big. And insert it in the patient mouth. Make sure that you are pressing on the back of the teeth so that all the teeth surfaces are covered. Next, we put the suction in between the trays. so that the child has no problem in keeping the tray in the mouth for 1 minute you can relax you can see how comfortable the child is and now we wait for complete 1 minute for the treatment to get over 
we do this treatment for complete 1 minute ideally the gold standard is 4 minutes but according to all the research and data that we have come across in the profession we see that 1 minute also does a very good job now that 1 minute is over we have to remove the trays from the mouth open your mouth remove the suction first and then push out the trays the child is asked to spit whatever excess gel is in the mouth in the suction tip <laughs> the child is supposed to spit out anything excess from the mouth in the suction tip you can see how happy and comfortable the treatment is you can also ask the patient to spit off the excess in the spittoon with the cotton gauze slightly clean off any extra gel that you may see in the mouth now let me tell you the post operative instructions which are very important to follow point number 1 the child is not allowed to eat drink or rinse at least 1 hour after the procedure point number 2 make sure the child does not eat anything raw hard or sticky food in their diet for at least next 24 hours point number 3 child is not supposed to brush the night of the procedure that is today all these points will make sure that fluoride is not washed away from your tooth surfaces and your saliva and mouth is full of it these points if followed properly will make sure that you derive maximum benefit from this treatment preventive fluoride treatment may have to be repeated once a year or sometimes in six months depending upon the caries risk of your child thank you Hooray, we are cavities free now!